Two weeks ago, I posted a video about my edges falling out. Don't stress out about it in terms of losing the hair because you know it will grow back. But I definitely need you to start taking your zinc immediately and stay consistent with it. I took a trip to Target to get some zinc. I am at Target now to pick up some Zycam because I'm on the road to grow my edges back. We're about to go on this journey together, okay? Here I am two weeks later. Who would have known I was just deficient in zinc? It's growing back really well. Oh my goodness. Hey kid folk, welcome back to Naturally Philo. So it's been exactly two weeks since I posted this video about my edges falling out. My hairline was not looking too great and my hairstylist Tamika made an appearance in that video and she basically advised me on getting my zinc levels up. She told me to either take some zinc or get some Zycam. Um, so I couldn't find zinc but I did find Zycam and I started taking that Zycam the day after I posted that video. I've also been doing a bunch of other stuff and I stopped doing a lot of things too. I am seeing noticeable results and it's only been two weeks. Also in the comments of that video so many of y'all left so many suggestions and advice of things to do to grow your edges back. Thank you so much Kinfolk for that. So in this video I'm also going to be touching upon what many of you said has also been growing your edges back. So if you are interested in these hair growth tips, stay tuned. Thanks so much for sticking around. So before I get started, just make sure you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me immensely and we're almost at 180k subscribers. Thank you so much. All right, let's start. Let me just get into why zinc is important. When it comes to tissue regrowth and repair, zinc is very important. If you are experiencing some level of hair loss, especially your hairline, you might be deficient in zinc, right? I haven't gotten a physical this year. It's been a while since I went to the doctor and I'm not even trying to go there right now because of the whole pandemic. I'm in the East Coast and we're still quarantined. So I'm not, a lot of people were telling me to go to my doctor. I'm not trying to risk it. <laughs> I definitely knew that I had to get my zinc levels up because if you look at my hair, it's good all around. It was just my hairline was acting up. So I knew I might have been deficient in zinc a little bit. Zinc helps to stimulate hair growth around your follicle area. So it's important if you are deficient in zinc to supplement it with, you know, zinc containing products such as Zycam or some foods that contain zinc. And I'll put the foods over here. When taking zinc, it's really not about how much you're consuming, but how much of it is bioabsorbable. So how much of it is actually going into your bloodstream and is available to be used. So the foods that I mentioned and also Zycam will give you the necessary dosage of bioabsorbable zinc. It's been said that women we need about 8 milligrams at least per day but to be honest it's more like 10 milligrams of zinc that we need to be absorbed per day. I got myself some Zycam. I know what y'all are thinking. A cold remedy to grow my edges back? Filo naturally for though i know i know it sounds weird right but the only active ingredient in zycam is zinc that's why tamika suggested it um because i've been trying to like find some zinc but the wait time like shipping is crazy because of the pandemic so the wait time is like weeks i was like you know what target has some zycam so i walked to target like the day after i posted that video i walked to target and got myself some zycam I noticed that it comes in tablets and gummies and you know I'm childish so I picked up the gummies oh my goodness way too sweet way too sweet if I could do this again I'll get the tablets if y'all are taking the tablets let me know if it's hella sweet because the gummies are way too sweet something about zinc is that it can cause you to be nauseous if you don't eat all right so I've definitely been taking it right after I eat or before I eat I haven't experienced any nausea while taking these because I make sure to actually eat okay I've noticed like my hair is really growing back little by little. If you look at two weeks before and now, I'm actually sold on the zinc thing. So zinc is the only thing I've been taking right now. Another thing I've been doing is I've been massaging my hairline more frequently. Um, religiously every single day. If I find myself about to play with my hair, I just move my hand to my hairline and I massage it. Um, someone actually made a really good point in the comment section and I'll put the comment here if I find it. But someone said that when you must... Okay, she was a bit dramatic. She was like, don't massage your scalp. And I was like, okay, huh? <laughs> but when I read her comment, I understood what she meant. A lot of people when they massage their scalp are very violent. 
so you are actually doing more damage than good all right and what i mean by that is like you are so aggressive with it <laughs> and you're not moving your hands in the right manner when you massage your scalp you want to make sure you take your palm you take your fingers like that and then you press it on the area and then you like move your head not move, you move your your hands around and it looks like your skin is moving you see that you see how like my skin is moving with it that's how you want to be massaging your scalp make sure your hands are at an angle and massage it and you see how my head is moving that's what you want to do you don't want to be aggressive with it so you don't cause friction okay because friction is basically gonna break off your hair and that's not what we want to massage my scalp I'm still using the Jamaican black castor oil growth serum from natural so that's how I'm massaging on this day I was retwisting my hair so that's why I'm combing it through and twisting I do not twist my hair every day okay <laughs> So when you massage, just make sure you're also massaging the rest of your scalp as well. Satin bonnets. So I actually stopped sleeping with satin bonnets on. These days I just sleep on satin pillowcases. All of my pillows here have satin pillowcases. I've been testing out many different satin pillowcases because what I found was that a lot of them are so hard. Like the satin is like, yo, why isn't this soft? And then the silk ones are like $50. <laughs> So I've been testing different satin pillowcases and I'm gonna just come out with my own because the ones that I have found or have been sent to me are really hard. I don't want to recommend something I don't like so I'm testing out different satin pillowcases and then I'm gonna just start selling my own and that's on period. So you can choose to look out for when I start selling my own satin pillowcases or you can just pick one up. Um, you can find them on Google. So why have I stopped wearing satin bonnets? A lot of satin bonnets are made for the aesthetic and not the functionality. And what I mean by that is, why do we buy satin bonnets? We buy satin bonnets because we want that protection. Because we know that when our hair rubs against like our skin or like our clothes or cotton, it's causing friction. And then friction ultimately like can lead to hair breakage, dryness, and frizziness. So that's why we're wearing a bonnet because we want to protect our natural hair. But if a bonnet is not protecting your edges, why are you wearing it? You know what I mean? There's a lot of bonnets that some of the satin doesn't even reach the edges or the elastic in it is way too tight so it's doing more harm than good to your edges right so i have a bunch of satin bonnets that are like nah sis nah but there's this satin bonnet that i wore in a lot of my videos and in the comment section people are like oh where do i get that bonnet and i had to tell them hey i can't recommend this because <laughs> it's actually not protecting hair as you can see it looks like a crown right so i only wore it as a crown because i was making a skit like i actually don't wear it to sleep at all so kinfolk be very cautious about the satin bonnets that you are buying and sleeping in is the elastic too tight and then another thing is headbands are your headbands too tight even if your headband is made out of satin like mine is you're still always wearing it on your edges are your edges breathing a huge part of protecting your edges is allowing it to breathe are your edges breathing when you tie your do-rag are you tying it on your edges or on your forehead so yeah be very adamant about what you are placing on your head you can also just go ahead and buy my satin lined hoodies i low-key sleep in these hoodies because it's satin lined it's not tight on my edges it's actually really big and my head is big i make it a point to actually use really good satin and it's double layered all right it's double layered for a luxury feel and better protection so yeah that's also what you could do you know i gotta plug my brand out there can apparel for your satin line hoodies i packed them all up i packed my bonnets up my headbands you people using shoelaces to tie these very tight high puffs i see you your edges don't see you anymore because they are being cremated because of you. But me, I see you. I also packed that one up too. No more harm to my edges, okay? No more harm. So that's it for what I've been doing. I think in another two weeks, I'll do another update of where my edges are. But right now, they are good. So I know it looks like when you see my hair like this, you're like, what is she talking about? <laughs> but like, they, it was actually bad. Um, but as you can see, look, it's growing back. Yo, because this is not how it looked like when I made that video. And then there was haters in the comment section talking about, looks fine to me. Are you me? Are you me? Are you naturally fellow? Have you been naturally fellow for 24 years? Don't come for me, haters, because 
I know how my hairline was, okay? And in that video that I posted two weeks ago, my hairline was not how it used to be, okay? So now I'm trying to rectify that. So don't come over here talking about, oh, it looks like a hairline to me. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Don't play me. It's not your hair. It's mine. <laughs> now that I've talked about what's helping me, let's talk about what's helping the kinfolk because there were like a thousand comments on that video and a lot of you were giving so many recommendations, so much advice. Thank you so much. So let me talk about the most common recommendations I saw. A lot of people said I should watch Curly Proverb. So Curly Proverb is another natural hair YouTuber. She has many different hair growth recipes like oil mixes, really really natural and cool. One thing that she did mention was to get SMS and vitamin C, making SMS and vitamin C a part of your diet. So I'll link the videos down because me, I'm not going to talk about SMS and vitamin C because I haven't used it yet. I want to see what, you know, the zinc does for me first and it seems to be working so I don't want to do too much and then when I come here I have a whole list of things I did <laughs> so I want to use things little by little so I can actually point out what actually worked all right a lot of people in the comments were saying SMS vitamin C really helped them grow their edges back and really help them grow like all their hair back not just their edges so yeah definitely check out curly proverbs YouTube channel and also read up on vitamin C and SMS taking those together to to grow your hair back. A lot of people mentioned I should start taking biotin gummies. I googled some biotin gummies. Why do people give um, sugar bear hair vitamins so much slack? Like the ingredients are actually good. I know some people think it's a scam but if you read sugar bear hair the ingredients yo there's vitamin D, vitamin E, biotin, B12 complex, there's zinc in it even. Like there's a lot of good things in sugar bear hair gummies. So <laughs> I don't know. Someone said I should put Vicks Vapor Rub on my edges. Hey! One so. That one did. I can't do it. <laughs> but yeah, people definitely were like, yeah, Philo, your iron or your vitamin D and your zinc might be low. So look into taking iron, vitamin D, and zinc. Bet. That's true. If there's, if I can get one, one pill, one supplement that has all of those things, including the other things I mentioned, that would be amazing. Someone said I should take collagen peptides. Hey! Collagen peptides. <laughs> Ayurveda. Someone said I should look into Ayurveda. I don't know if I'm saying it right. The Ayur Ayurvedic powders, Ayurveda. Um, someone said wild growth oil really helped them as well. Um, a lot of people said that the Jamaican black castor oil from Natural helped them as well. And then last but not least, a lot of people in the comment section said I should pray, right? A lot of people said I should manifest that my edges will grow back and I should just really be calm, stop stressing and just pray. Pray that they'll grow back because they will and I should manifest that. And you know, that's very important. That's very important. Just believing that God got you believing that you got yourself and everything will be good. So stop being like a pest all the time, like a pessimist. It's always important to be optimistic and knowing that there's a higher power out there that's looking out, right? So thank you God, thank you God for looking out because what? This was not me. Like, don't my, doesn't my hair look thicker? It's only been two weeks. I'm really happy. Um, I'm gonna continue this and then I'll do another update in two weeks. So in two weeks, it'll be one whole month. Right, so I'll do another update in one month. But yeah, shout out to God. Shout out to God, shout out to the kinfolk, shout out to Tamika, shout out to Zinc, <laughs> shout out to Jamaican Black Castor Oil, shout out to Satin Pillowcases, shout out to my Satin Line Hoodies, and that's on period. <laughs> Thank you so much, kinfolk, for watching my video. I hope this video encourages you to take the next steps into growing back your edges, growing back your hairline. It can be done. We just have to believe and try. Don't sit back and not do anything about it, right? So yeah, I love you all, kinfolk, dearly. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. We're almost at 180K subscribers. 180K kinfolk. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day. And until next time on Naturally Philo, take your zinc. Keep it naturally. Gangin and bangin. Since me youngin. Living and learning. Dressing and flexing. You have been posting a liking.